when you're opening Fortnite and your PC is getting completely unresponsive and getting freeze, here is a video where I'll show you some simple steps in order to fix this problem. First and foremost, what you have to do is you have to come to the search bar over here and type in run. Once it opens, you have to type a command which is percentage app data percentage. Now from here, you have to go to app data, go to local and you have to find Epic Games Launcher. Go to save, web cache and all these are cache files which you don't need. You just have to select everything, right click, delete them or you can just permanently delete them. Make sure when you're deleting these files, your Epic Games Launcher which is open it should be closed is that whenever you're deleting these cache files make sure your epic games launcher is closed so once it is closed then you select everything and delete everything and then you open your epic games launcher launch your game see if that helps next step that you can try is you have to open your epic games launcher and go to library now you can do this either of them if you have both installed like fortnite og or fortnite whichever is installed you can do it any one of them just click on these three dots and go to options and from here you have to do two things make sure high resolution textures and free download streamed assets both of them are unticked so if by chance you have installed them with Fortnite, make sure these two are unticked because it may take a lot of memory and graphical resources and your PC is not able to deliver that. And because of that, you're facing these freezes and unresponsive behavior from your PC. So make sure that high resolution textures and free download stream assets, both of them are unticked. After that, click apply. Not only it will fix your problem, but also it will save up more than 25 GB of your space. So make sure you do that and once it is done, restart your PC and then launch your game, see if that helps. Next step, what you can try is, now this issue many of the players which are facing, they found a fix but I'm not sure whether it's gonna work for everyone. What they tried is, they have tried to disable the Discord overlay when they're playing the game. Or rather doing that, they're entirely quitting Discord while playing Fortnite. So if you want to play Fortnite, just go to the bottom right hand corner and if you have Discord open, right click on it and simply exit it out so that discord is closed after that restart your pc once and then launch your game see if that helps next step that you can try is as you can fix this problem just by uninstalling fortnite and then install it again so if you have a really good internet connection and your speed is good you can just simply go ahead and uninstall fortnite and install it again many of the players are saying that's a temporary fix but you can still go ahead and try it probably it helps just uninstall Fortnite and install it once. I'm pretty sure it's gonna fix the issue. Next step that you can try is, in the search bar, you have to type in background apps. And once background app opens, make sure that you completely untick this. So you don't have to run any kind of background app when you're trying to play Fortnite. Now I'm not gonna do this because I have the wallpaper set and I have other things like Microsoft Store and Nvidia Control Panel and all these kind of things. So these are completely optional things which you don't need in order to play the game. So when you're running the game, you can just turn off this or what you can do is you can do a custom setting of turning on some of them which you need. Like for example, let's say you need the Windows security or let's say you need the Xbox console companion, just for example. So whichever you want, you can tick them and the, and the one you don't want, you can simply untick them so that less amount of load is taken by your PC and it can run the game smoothly. So make sure either you can turn off background apps completely or you can choose custom settings but my recommendation would be to completely turn off background apps just in case and then try launching fortnite see if that helps next step what you can try is you open up your disk pc right click go to properties and then select advanced system settings small window will come up from here you have to go to the advanced section go to settings and over here you have to do certain things for example i'm going to choose custom settings you can choose for adjust for best performance it will untick all of them those certain things won't look as smooth as but for me i only need show thumbnails instead of icons that is the only setting which i want so it will be a custom setting rest all of them will be turned off once i have selected this simply click on apply and click ok and once it is done simply click on ok over here one additional step which you can do with this in the search bar type in power plan so when i come up with this edit power plan option click on this choose change advanced power settings the small window will come up from here whichever your active setting is so i have on my balance but uh, you can choose high performance or if you're in ultimate performance for example if you're in balance you just have to scroll down you're gonna find something which is called as processor power management simply click on this plus icon over here and you have to choose the minimum power state and the maximum power state for the maximum power state by default it will be at 100 percent you have to decrease it very slightly so that it doesn't take your processor to the maximum level which is 100 percent we don't want it to reach that level so slightly decrease it probably 99 98 that will be perfectly fine i choose 95 
but it's all up to you. You don't have to go below 95. So 95 is the limit. So you can choose any value between 95 and 100. Once it is done, click OK. Now launch your game. See if your PC is still getting frees. Next step, open your Epic Games launcher. And over here, I'm going to go to the library. And as you can see, this is Fortnite installed. So in the library, I'm going to click on this three dots over here. Go to manage. And as you can see in the launch option over here, make sure this is ticked. Make sure this command has been put. This particular command has been set over here. It is a minus D3D11, which will make or it will force the game to run on DirectX 11 and not any other mode so that your game is much more stable. If by chance you're having a very high end graphic card or something like that, then probably by default it will be selected to DirectX 12. Or maybe even if you have a lower end graphic card or mid range graphic card, still it may be on DirectX 12. Make sure you select this command over here in the launch option. You can do this for any other game through Epic games launcher that's even easy you have to go to the settings over here scroll down and as you can see i have just two games installed so just click on this small little triangle and as you can see additional command line arguments d3 d11 make sure this particular command is put over here once it is done restart epic games launcher launch the game see if that helps next step what you can try it well it may not be used by a lot of players but if you're using it i would recommend you to turn off the dlss from nvidia so if you're having dlss on and you're playing the game obviously you're gonna get a little bit of fps boost but that's probably the reason you're having the crash so go ahead to your graphics settings in fortnite and turn off dlss completely once your dlss is turned off restart the game restart epic games launcher and then try your game see if you're still having the crash next step now this is a different kind of step as it will depend on your pc and what kind of softwares and applications you have what you have to do is whichever softwares you have or whichever application you have which is generally not that much in use i would recommend you to uninstall them using an uninstaller a lot of them in the internet just download any free uninstaller to completely remove all those applications which you don't need for example, I had an antivirus program in my PC and that was causing a lot of issues even running simple programs because that antivirus used to get confused whether it's a malware or an actual file. So because of that, I simply uninstalled that antivirus and now all my programs are running perfectly fine. So if you have some kind of an antivirus software, any third party application which keeps on running while you're playing Fortnite, then I would highly recommend you to just select it and simply uninstall it from your PC and then try your game, see if that helps. Next step is go to the search bar and type in run again, type the same command, click OK, go to app data, go to local, again find Fortnite game, saved and over here you're going to find this particular cache file which is a Fortnite game PCD3 pipeline cache, something like this which will be around 600 kilobytes. Make sure this particular file is permanently deleted. So just a cache file, simply delete this file permanently, restart Epic Games Launcher, launch the so that will be it for the video, hope it helps and if you're still having freezes and your PC is still unresponsive after doing all these steps, go ahead to my X handle, put a screenshot if you're facing any bugs or issues or you can directly tag me, tell me what issue you're facing for how long, I'll try to help you out as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye.